Hi, I'm Sibran Dijkstra. I'm the CEO of DJ Studio and I'm happy to show you DJ Studio 4.0. I'm not only showing it to you, I'm also enabling you to download it and play with it yourself. We now introduced a new concept to DJ Studio and that's called Next. DJ Studio Next is the next big version of DJ Studio that is already in the development dungeons and for you ready to play with. The application is running next to DJ Studio. Next, 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 next. So you have 3.1, that's your current version. And then we have the upcoming 4.0 that is now available in a preview in the next version. We call it DJ Studio 4.0 because we made big, big changes. Big changes to the UI, for example. We now have stem waveforms on the full tracks. So with the click of a button, you see the drum, the bass, the melody, and the vocal. So you have a good indication of where the singing is and where you want to make your edits. We have now much more support for Windows users and their GPUs. Until now, we only supported NVIDIA, but now we also have support for Intel GPUs and AMD. And next to that, we doubled the speed of our stem separation and we use new stem models with much higher quality focals. We created a complete new beat grid editor. No more jumping around on the screen with different tempos. We always stick to the grid and we now have full edit options in place where you can grab individual beats and reposition them for all disco songs. Uh, where you can move the whole beat grid, you can set the tempo, everything is directly accessible in the studio. We now have an integration with the beat port and beat source store. This means that you have access to around 100 million tracks, access to the previews of these tracks. You can play around with the previews and if you like the previews, you can buy the tracks directly within DJ Studio. Since we now have access to so much tracks. Uh, it is also interesting to convert your existing Spotify playlist to uh, tracks available on Beatport or BeatSource, for example, or the 1001 track list. We already had them in the past for the streaming music from Beatport and BeatSource, but now they're also accessible for the previews. We have the charts. Uh, same story. We have the Apple Music, the Shazam, the Billboard Top 100. It's all in here. We get the most recent list for you and we convert them to Beatport or BeatSource previews. We now have much higher quality export from DJ Studio. 24-bit and even 32-bit WAV files if you want. And we now export track edits straight to Recordbox and also Serato. So let's dive into the studio and let us create a measure. In the Add Tracks home screen, you now see lots of music discovery options. So let's go to Beatport. In here is my Beatport Top 10. Uh, I can uh, listen to the, to the tracks in here or I can add them immediately to my shopping cart if I want or select the previews and start playing around with the previews in my mix. We give you a little warning explaining that you're playing with previews and they're low quality and not meant for mixing. But it's good to get an indication of the tracks. And what are we listening to over here? Ah, the liquor store, that's nice. We created a new color for the waveforms and we also have options to show the instrumental and the vocal and we also have the four stems view. When you go to the four stems view and there is not enough space to edit, we uh, simply zoom the stem that you are looking at. So now I can have a listen over here. I know. You came to have a fucking party. And let's say I'd like to mute the vocal in here. I can now do this editing like this and have... And as you can see, there is no vocal any longer. And uh, when you switch views, by the way, you now see this muted part in here indicating, hey, there is a vocal mute. So that's easy to know because we have a volume indication in here as well. So you now have volumes of the stems and the volume of the track and they're all combined. 
Oh, another interesting thing, by the way, if you add the high effect and let's say you have the filter effect as well, these lines are now on top of each other, making it uh, pretty difficult to do the editing. We got lots of people saying, hey, can you do this better? Yes, we can do this better. We now have an option over here to solo one of the lines that you're looking at. So I can now solo the filter in here and play around with the filter. And this one is now on the top. If you don't want to have the filter any longer, you press the X and then the filter is gone. So now you see all automation again. If you want, you can get rid of the filter uh, in here easily. Or if you regret what you did, you can restore it in here. So that's a pretty cool editing feature. Of course, if you don't have enough space, you can press the Z key and now you have enough space to edit or you click in the lay in here to do some zooming and editing. So let's get rid of some uh, edits in here that I did. So here we go. And when you are in the stem view in here and you like this vocal, you can mark it and when you release the mouse you see the options that are uh, most used so i can mute this vocal in here or i can mark it again and unmute i can copy this vocal if i want by selecting it copy vocal and here is the vocal i can option drag the vocal to make copies of it and they are magnetic so I can attach them like this. Uh, another super cool feature is that I can uh, copy this vocal. Let's have these two. So I'll uh, mute this one. And you can't do this like I can. Get up. I'm on my way to the liquor store. With the evil. And when I zoom in to the point where I see the waveforms, now I can do something super cool. I can grab this waveform and I can move it to a new position. So I can move it a little bit. We are now moving the waveform less than a beat. Yes, finally. And as you can hear, I created a little shifted vocal. And this is how you create an uh, echo, of course. But as soon as you see the waveforms in here, now you have the freedom to move it smaller than a beat. Cool, eh? So that's for the uh, samples in here. Let's get rid of them. Have a listen over here. Oh, this one is muted. Um, I did lots of things in here that I don't like, so unmute. Here we go again. Oh, by the way, the quality of the high quality vocals. We have much better vocals here. Let's get a track with, uh, let's see, Adele. Adele, if somebody has a high quality vocal, then it is Adele, of course. So here is Adele and go to the stem views. We also have the instrumental stem views, of course, instrumental and vocal and copy this vocal and have a listen. There ain't no room for the things to change when we are both so deeply stuck in our ways. I reckon this one is good enough. Let's move Adele over here. Let's make some space for camel fat. And let's make a nice mesh up. Yes, I'm on my way to the liquor store. Well, I'm on my way to Adele. And uh, let's find a better spot. I'm not good in timing, but I think this one is good. And now, uh, yes. And now the get up, we need to mute it in here. Let's create a second point. And you see how easy it is now to make 
to make edits in here. Oh, another cool thing we have. This little button over here. When you drag it, this is the fade in. So now... And the cool thing of a fade in is when you uh, shorten or stretch a sample, the fade in stays in the same position. So now... Is this cool? Oh, by the way, this is a 7B, so we should transpose this track one up and now listen again. Reha. So now let's see if we can do some vocal playing. Yeah, and let's bring back the liquor store in here. And uh, a bit of so Yeah, better. And. Yes, and now I have a nice reverb ending over here. Well, if you go to the reverb, we add a reverb block. This is a local automation. And. Oh, if you don't want to have a local automation, if you press this zoom button, it is now zoomed into your sample. If you want, and pressing it again, you get the original. Now bring up this reverb. I want to have a big, 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 big reverb somewhere over here. And now we'll extend it out of the sample. Have a listen. Woo! Making this going over there. Yeah, okay, this is the effect. And now listen. We have. So this is how you can make uh, mashups in DJ Studio 4. So if you like the tracks and you want to make this uh, mesh up with the full tracks you click the preview button and now you can buy adele directly on beatsource if you want we will redirect you to beatsource and there is adele now in my shopping cart i already had a few other tracks in here and going back you can also add her to your internal cart well since we have access to this extreme large library of whatever let's go abba and we have all other tracks in here. Uh, we have so much uh, tracks that it's also interesting to show you charts. So let's see what the Billboard Top 100 is doing. Well, you see, we convert the tracks to BeatSource tracks or Beatport tracks in here. Same for Spotify. If you go to Spotify, here are some disco tracks. Well, if I like this disco playlist, you uh, grab the disco playlist, drag it into DJ Studio, and DJ Studio will now convert your Spotify playlist to Beatport and Beatsource tracks. And here you see my Boney and Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Cool. cool. So uh, lots of options to discover new music with DJ Studio. I hope I inspired you to become really creative with new tracks that you discover in DJ Studio. So go to our website and download DJ Studio next.